can see, I am currently doing my mask on because I'm actually reviewing this product. I'm going to pronounce it as Dr. Levine's. I recently received this, I think, earlier this month or last month or late last month. This together with a moisturizer, which I've already tried the moisturizer. This brand has a really... I don't know, is it organic smell? Or they? it seems like they did not use any perfume or scented products in this which makes them smell as it's supposed to smell by its, by its ingredients because the moisturizer itself, it smells very sweet and it's not a pleasant kind of sweet which is very weird and I, I'm really not a big fan of it but it, it does its job, it moisturizes my skin it keeps it hydrated even within an aircon room and it's oil free, like literally oil free so whoever that has a really oily skin and don't like that kind of um, product leaving on your skin that product is actually really good for you this is the oil free day and night cream it has vitamin A coenzyme and Q10 so it's really good for anti-aging I would say really nourish and rejuvenate your skin oh the smell of this mask is really strong uh, this one absorbs completely but at the same time really make you feel like you're moisturized so which is a very weird thing usually I prefer something that's layered on top of my skin but this one seems to be fine it's just that the scent it's very very strongly sweet and it's not the pleasant kind of sweet it's very like like the bubblegum it's called booms or something like with a superhero in the packaging it's a blue color kind of bubblegum and I'll, I'll just like tag it somewhere here if, if I have the picture of it but it could be because this smells uh, organic or it doesn't have any fragrance in it that makes it smell like this it didn't bring my skin out or anything so this 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 works pretty well it seems quite all right the one thing that i have to tell you that this product when i first opened this product it's yellow in color i'm like that scares me a little bit because most of my creams are like white or i don't know it, it's basically not like super yellow like this this is crazy yellow in color and i really got a shock i really got a shock when i first opened it up and the smell totally like caught on to me as well so it was really just weird the first few times me putting it on right now even though i have gotten used to the scent of this and the the, the color of this i just don't know if i would repurchase this i mean i would definitely continue using this because the fact that it's oil free but at the same time really moisturizes my skin i think it tells something about this product and the fact that it didn't break me out and it works well as a moisturizer so i will definitely finish this off but for the product and looks itself i just don't know and the scent itself is just not something that i would want to use every single day uh, now i am trying out like finally the mask that they also have given me this is the ultra 4r recovery mask firmness and radiance at first when i took it out i thought it smells better than the moisturizer but after a while i realized that it could be the rosehip oil that made it smell like this and it smells like right now it smells like it smells like weird eucalyptus scent which i love eucalyptus scent but this is not eucalyptus this is i strongly believe scent comes from the rosehip oil and it really smells like a, a weird insect repellent smell when I, even when i'm applying on right now it's it's really strong and i don't know if i like it or not but yeah let's see how it is when i rinse it it says that you're supposed to leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes these products are actually made in usa but they have a office in australia it seems like it's a product of australia but it's made in usa i don't know so clean off the mask I'm gonna go on with my skincare first before I actually talk a little bit more about this mask. I'm gonna use my trusty old SK2. I know this is the SK2 men's version, but I've asked the um, PR person and she said that it's not much of a difference. The only difference is that the men's one, a little bit more cooling as compared to the women's one. At first, I didn't really notice the cooling sensation, but if you really take the time to just feel the feeling on your skin, you can definitely feel that this is a little bit more cooling cooling as compared to the regular FTE. Next up, we're gonna use the moisturizer. You can see, it's yellow in color. Yeah, so I can't really say that the product didn't work or anything and it's really oil-free. When I say oil-free, it's the kind of really oil-free one where you can't feel like any layer on your skin. So it totally absorbs everything into your skin and you will not feel sticky or 
oily or anything like a normal moisturizer will do. So yeah, it's up to you really if you want to try it or not. It feels quite, it feels really good on your skin actually. Now let's get into the mask that I tried on early on, the Ultra R4 Recovery Mask Firmness and Radiance. What I can say about this product is that after removing it, I don't feel that it's moisturizing but I do feel that it does help with firmness. It does feel, my skin definitely feel a little bit more firm. Uh, radiance wise, I don't know because for me, radiance comes in hand with moisture. So when I don't feel that this works as like a moisturizing mask, I don't know how it's gonna be radiance. So if you like the rose hip oil kind of scent and um, if you like the kind of scent and you need something that's firming for your skin, I think this would be great for your skin. And I think with this tub, you can actually use quite a long time because you only really need to use very little product because this is very actually quite liquidy although when you pump it out it's like in a paste form but when you spread it out it's actually really easy to spread out it's very smooth to spread out very easy to get an even application and easy to cleanse as well so no hassle there uh, it dries out like a mud mask but a very thin layer of mud mask so this is pretty good for for firming i would say yes i'm wearing a superman shirt I love it. So, so, so love it. Thanks, Chloe and Simon for the shirt. Super comfortable. Uh, I love anything with a good hoodie. Sometimes I really do wish Malaysia has like winter seasons. I really love to wear like cozy, big, comforty sweaters and jumpsuits and I don't know, whatever else that is really comfortable and it will keep you warm. I really love that. But well, still love a good hoodie, though. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!